What's up, people? Enrico Fiorinelli, the fitness sensei, and uh, I'm here to teach you a little something about fitness. That's the idea. So, we are entering the fall, and it's ba -ba 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 football season, people. So, I hope you are as pumped up as I am for the football season. I love football. Um, but this is the start of the challenges and the battle that we run through with the fall, through the winter, through the new year for our health, fitness, and wellness. So how do we combat this battle? How do we stay on track when everyone else is jumping off? Well, here's just four easy steps for you to follow that are going to help keep you on, on track. The first thing is wherever you're going, anytime you're going to one of these social gatherings where there's going to be beer, wings, pizza, subs, etc., 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 I want you to bring a healthy option that you enjoy to eat that agrees with your body that fits what you're looking to accomplish. So if you if you're not on uh, if you're on a diet that's carbohydrate restrictive, someone's a little bit lower in carbohydrates. If you're on a, a vegan diet, something that's vegan. If you're on a carnivore diet, shit, bring a steak. Um, whatever it is, it needs to just adhere to your program. And what you're going to do is when you're, you're at that gathering, if it's something that lends itself to be able to be shared with other people, well, then you share it with other people. If it's something that it's really just what you could eat, Say, hey, I, you know, I apologize that this is what I can eat on my particular diet. It helps me feel good about me. And to be frank, those people that are your real friends, those people that are your loved ones will support you in that and they'll completely respect it. God knows uh, I, I did this for, for years and uh, it's really funny. Uh, but now w when I go some places, there, there's actually people that, that have the, uh, the baked chicken that, that I was bringing to their house already uh, set up there for me, which is awesome and super appreciated. So it went from, you know, them challenging with like the, why can't you eat these things? And my conviction being strong enough that I wouldn't to then actually helping and making my life easier and then being part of the support system that helps me stay on track when it comes to my fitness goals. So um, definitely awesome that way. The second thing is going to be putting a plan of action in place where you're going to be active each and every day. So this fall season when is, is when it gets a little bit colder. So we're running low on the days that we could just go outside and go for a walk. So if we have a plan of action where we know that we're being active every day, whether it's walking outside, riding a bike, walking around our building at work, our workouts, going to the gym, swimming, whatever it is, whatever component it is, just be mindful of it, have it as a plan, put it in your calendar, and that's your personal time that you're dedicating each and every day. The third thing is on days that you know you're going to be going to one of these gatherings with a lot of bad, delicious, awesome food, I want you to be extra active. I want that to be your intense workout days. I want those to be your days where you kill yourself in the gym and you leave puddles of sweat all over the place and go crawling out of the building. Those are your hard, mean, nasty, rough workout days. What you're doing there is you're giving the calories that you're putting in your body a little bit more purpose. So your body will, instead of storing them, they will absorb those calories a little bit better have, use it to feed and repair your muscles. You recover a little bit quicker and we'll work on building a little bit more muscle on those days as opposed to the other days. And given for the majority of people, and I am speaking under this assumption throughout this entire video, we're looking to lean out, maybe build a little bit of muscle, but it's really about kind of weight loss, leaning out and burning fat. Now, the fourth thing, do not be afraid to say no. Regardless of what it is, don't be afraid to say no. If it is a Monday night and it's Monday night football and you don't want to drink beer on a Monday night, say no. If you already ate or you're doing intermittent fasting, it's outside of your feeding window, well, say no. No is a perfectly acceptable answer. You know, do it respectfully. Be like, hey, you know, not for me. I'm, I'm good. And, you know, it's people, some, most people will not press you on it. And if they do, you could go a little bit deeper, explain to them, hey, I'm 
really trying to get in good shape. I really need to take care of myself. I need to feel better about me. And the people that are good, the people that respect you, the people that are your real friends and your real support group, they'll be 100% on board for it. Again, my name is Enrico Fiorinelli. I'm the Fitness Sensei. I want you to comment below, who's your favorite NFL team? I'll catch you guys later.